In my previous match, the opponent has a Cillion. I mean to have 3 magic resistant items, including Athena shield. He was still doing an absolute disgusting amount of damage to me in the late game. So like usual, I got inspired to try that hero myself. But as you saw from the intro, this is not only going to be another very interesting match in which you will see my team is struggling a lot and how Cecilion can truly hard carry in solo queue. This is not a good sign. Our roamer is starting in the mid lane instead of helping our jungler or delaying the opponent's buff. It might seem like a very insignificant thing, but this kind of tells you how knowledgeable the player is about the game. Every little thing that I can gain in my favor is gonna help tremendously, especially when the team is more inexperienced than the opposition. It seemed like both my allies had their skills on cooldown. Huh? Interesting. I don't want to stay in the lane for too long. My priority right now is to farm these stacks as quickly as possible and get the first two core items as well. But it seems like our Karina wants to make a play, so let's see what we can do. Yup, we are just lacking the damage for now. At least I will be able to get lots of stacks here. I'm gonna wait for my first skill to reset, or else I will lose all my mana when it's not necessary. You gotta learn to be patient when farming his stacks during the laning phase. Ideally, you don't want to use his first skill after using it three times in a row. If you are with, I'm gonna wait for Armilla to get in better position before engaging, especially because she's the one with the lockdown skill. Don't waste too much time hanging around after you have accomplished your mission. Your main priority is to farm stacks. That's the only reason why Cecilia is such a deadly mage, otherwise he's worse than your average mage. Once again, just gonna wait for my first skill to reset. But as you can see, I'm not completely ignoring ganking at all. I'm still roaming around and constantly helping where it's needed. I try to take as many hits as possible before retreating, hoping that will be enough for my allies to finish the job. Xavier can still use ult, and Balmon saw me with low HP. This is not a safe bush to use recall. Okay. 
Somehow Xavier managed to solo kill our jungler and got the total as well. What a god. Their Melissa is also winning when she's 1v2. Yay! It might seem tempting to create the incoming minion wave as well, but that will put the marksman in such a disadvantage. Our tank is being extremely passive. It's hard to move around the map as the mid laner when this happens. We need to keep ganking their marksman, or else she will be a huge problem very soon. After this fight, they could easily start snowballing us. Bot is already a lost cause, I gotta grab whatever is available. Clearing the mid lane that fast allow our minions to take down the mid turret. Usually you'll want the tank and mage to be roaming around together, but unfortunately we are not on the same page in this match. Mia keeps taking bad fights, so I try to give her some advice. When she said that, I was curious about her build because usually you want to go for more offensive items first. Has Claw and Wind of Nature as her first two core items. That means absolutely no damage at all. A blue buff here will be really nice. Nope. Our 
We use all our ults and they still have theirs. Also, they are more fed than us at this point, so this is definitely not a fight we want to take. But since they took that fight, I might as well try to get something in return. Not too bad of a trade, we managed to take down another of their turret and also got more stack as well. I kept expecting Balmon to just walk back. XT. Their marksman is extremely fed already, plus she also beat Athena's shield. If I'm careless during the team fight, I could get melted right away. At this stage of the game, I should just get the buff. There's no need for Franco to clear the wave at all. It's more important that the Roma is providing vision or just not revealing himself so the opponents won't know our exact location. If you for a okay. I saw their Balmon walking towards this tiny bush. The fights are pretty close, one misplay and equal swing either way. I'm getting bored. I am glad that Xavier's ult has a bigger delay now. Only their Balmo is alive, and there's still 20 seconds before the rest respawn. We can definitely end the game right now if we play this right. Quite unfortunate that our marksmen didn't read the situation properly. But that's okay, that happens. Sometimes we just get a bit distracted and are not paying attention to every little detail. It's too late now because they are about to respawn already. Right. Yeah.
Cecilia is still such an amazing mage. He is probably one of the best mages out there for making those comebacks in the late game. But I won't take full credit for this match, because our export did extremely well as well in this match. Anyway, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and see ya.